So welcome back to some more Complete Arc. I'm James and we continue our journey to complete Aberration. And I've been busy in the background getting our boss army ready. So check out the stats on our Megalosauruses. We're eight mutations in. I managed to get four on the health, three on melee. And we just chucked one extra stamina mutation in at the end. And I think these guys are going to be adequate to face off against Rockwell. As you saw in the intro there, we have got ourselves an Ascendant Saddle. So I've been gathering lots of fiber and hide. And I'm going to craft all of these up at once. Put a load of crafting skill, do a mind wipe and we'll get these crafted. So I'm going to use the Ascendant one. I did get a Mastercraft one, but it's got 20 less armor on it. And to be honest, I'd probably like the extra 20 armor may make all of the difference. It's almost an extra primitive saddle on top. So I've pretty much just filled up dinos with hide and fiber. I do wish Ark would change fiber and hide to stack in 1000s. Not changing the weight of it, but just making it stack to 1000. It would be so much easier for all of you guys who can't mod the game. and Well, for me, but, <laughs> but for you guys who can't mod the game. I wouldn't really break it by having that stack higher. Okay, so the artifact of the Stalker is the last artifact we've got to get. And I'm going to show you how to get there in one jump. Well, almost one jump. So I'm just going to get at some height above our base here. And I think it's easier for you guys to follow along just to visualize it as we jump and make our way there. So. We're just going to head towards the blue zone where the Genesis 2 Chronicles note opens for Rockwell, which is directly in front of us here. You'll see this rock just pointing out of the lake here. Now, I did put a playlist together of the Gen 2 note locations, and it was actually a pretty good play playlist. We revisited the island, so if you've been following along with Complete Arc and you haven't checked out that playlist. I'll leave a link because I released it all in one day but it was a good series of notes. You should check it out. Okay, from here we're going to look for this purple rock. We want to land just above it. So for the most part you kind of avoid this zone. It's good for getting red gems but even if you're taming reapers it's better to do it where I showed you in the reaper episode. So we just need to jump up one more and just head to the back of this cave here. We've avoided pretty much all of the goop. Again, I like doing it this way just to show you guys who are less confident on the rock drake. And I know that I recently did it with the crew and it's a really fun cave to do with a group of people because obviously people get lost and for the most part, this cave actually feels like just part of the map, really. It doesn't feel like a cave cave. Okay, so it's just here. This is the entrance. Now, of course, we've already got our Megalosaurus, but if you're struggling, this is a great place to tame one. You'll find plenty of high levels in here. My plan is to do this in one take, just so you guys can follow along, and especially if you're solo in it, we'll just go the quick route. Because on the whole, this cave is pretty large, but unless you're coming in here to grab the artifact or to tame something, then there's not really much reason to be in here. The loot isn't that great. So I'm just going to use our sticky feet to stick to the wall to get across this first jump. Because you don't want to land in there. And that's the problem with this. I say like those of you who are less confident on the drake. It can be a little bit tricky this cave. You know. Your arms st start getting heavy. Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah, Eminem. Yeah, we'll just disappear and avoid this group. 
I mean, typically speaking, you're going to be going about doing this cave on a rock drake anyway. We can just avoid this little group. So, so far we haven't had to make a jump. We're just going to go around to our left. Into the next chamber on this side. So, very easy to get lost. Just take care of these amphros up ahead. So, we are pretty much ready to face off against Rockwell. I've got all of the trophies we need. I've just got to level up our Megalosauruses. Oh. Just take care of you. And we're about there, so I'm going to do that this week. And I want to try and get Aberration complete this month. Okay. Let's get rid of them. Now... I didn't come across a blueprint for a shotgun, but to be fair, this is a pretty good shotgun that we've got, so I will try. I still keep on looting the surface just to see if we come across anything better, but if not, we'll go with this one. It's just short of 300% damage, so it is, a, it is a good shotgun. It's just as we're going to do that mind wipe. It'd be nice to have made a better one. So this is pretty much the only jump you're going to need to make just here. I've pretty much used the sticky feet all over, uh, as you can see. Sometimes it's hard. You just click to stick to the walls and sometimes the drake doesn't go where you want to go. So just across there, well, can jump from these, this area just here, but just get rid of these amphros if I can. They're a problem because if they hit your suit. I have found plenty of radiation or hazard, hazard suits up on the surface, so I've got loads of that stuff. So. The entrance is literally just above us here from this waterfall. If we jump onto this rock, just need to head to the top and that's pretty much it. Keep on going up. And there's just an entrance above us here where we can get to the artifact. So that's the only jump you need to make onto this wall and you're pretty much here. When you come in with a group of others though, you can quite easily get lost. And uh, that does make it fun, as you'll see when I eventually get round to editing the complete crew episode. This was uh, this was quite a fun cave. I'll just get rid of some of these. There's the artifact of the stalker straight ahead. Our final artifact. So, like I say, initially this wasn't really my favourite cave, but coming in and here with a group definitely made it more worthwhile. Okay. Just stick to the wall and grab it from here. The artifact of the stalker, that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't think it took us too long to reach it. Just get rid of this stuff. I don't know why it's not aggroed. As much stuff as spawned in here as before. I did come in before just to get my bearings so I could just show you in one go how to reach the artifact. But here we go, our final artifact. I guess next time round we're going to be facing off against Rockwell. Yeah, level 20. I'm always looking out for a half decent feather light. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, Cat's Devil, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Do you know, I don't even think it's the first time. Cat's Devil, 
I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to radiate you like that. Of course, uh, well, that means we are going to have to come back and grab a couple more of these artifacts. That's fine, I will come back. I guess we could actually uh, stick a chest down outside as well, so we could just come in and grab a few. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think about that. Poor Cat's Devil. I feel really guilty now, because that's one of the patrons. I'm sorry, Cat's. Uh, I can't believe I didn't think about that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's a bit too much to deal with. Let's just come up here. Take care of these seekers. But that's pretty much how to reach the artifact soloing it. And as you can see, you can land on this level and follow them crystals to the next rock or just jump from over this side to reach that island. But going around that way, you pretty much avoid the rest of the cave, and there isn't that much in the way of loot. Like I say, this cave really operates like the rest of the map for the most part. It doesn't feel like a cave cave, that was, even though Aberration is one giant cave. Ah, oh dear. I can't believe I didn't think about that. And the irony is, I don't think that's the first time I've done it. I'm pretty sure we might have... I might have thrown one out and radiated one before. I just forget that we're taking radiation. I'm sorry, cats. Oh dear. Just get rid of these. Level 80 just there. Side to not clearing this out before. Oh, I can't help if I reach me. It's all gone, Pete's on. <laughs> no. Oh. Got hit again. Oh, and again. Oh. Well, I should have cleared this out before rather than just uh, going around it my own fault. What's attacking me? I need to drop some meat. Dung beetles. Um, let's just drop all of this meat. Don't need it. What's this? Another dung beetle. But that's the artifact of the stalker and I'm just going to get around the rest of this stuff. No need to engage with it. Get out of here. It's just this final jump. And we could come back and just put a chest down here. And go back and grab a few more. In fact, I probably will just stick a chest down outside somewhere around here. And just go and clear out the bit of the entrance that we need to get to. So home sweet home. And I will have to jump back into that cave to get some more artifacts. But... I'll do all of that stuff behind the scenes, along with leveling up all of these Megalosauruses here. It won't take long, I'll just take them up and down the river, get some more levels, we'll craft them saddles, and next time we'll be facing off against Rockwell. So the artifact of the Stalker was the final piece of the puzzle, and for those of you who are less confident on the Rock Drake, I hope showing you it like that helps you guys grab the artifact a little bit easier if you're solo in that cave. But like I say, you can find some decent level Megalosauruses in that cave as well. So it's not like there's no reason to go in there. But we've already got our army, so we didn't really need to utilize that cave too much this time round. And of course, a huge thanks to everybody who's been taking an interest in the seven days to die stuff. I will be continuing with that challenge. But of course, we do need to face off against Rockwell and see if we can complete this map with a win. I'm pretty sure we're going to do all right against Gamma, but 
I've recently taken on the Alpha Rockwell and I don't know, we'll just have to see when we get there, which will be next time. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.